If you look at economic freedom data, most places around the world have liberalized their economies to some extent since, since 1980. I think only four countries have, have uh, neglected to make any sorts of reforms. So what you can see is that reforms have happened in democracies and in dictatorships. It has been done by peaceful leaders and it's been done by warmongers around the world. What Naomi Klein does is that she cherry picks her examples. She takes a few, those few examples of places where brutal uh, dictators have tried to liberalize the economy. And then she pretends that this is what has been going on around the world in the last few decades. Brutal people have liberalized and therefore trying to create this connection between uh, political violence and, and liberalization. And that's wrong. If you look at the broader picture, the most reforms have taken place in democratic places, in democratic countries. Uh, and that's also why she never mentions those places. Um, Estonia is, uh, in Eastern Europe is one place that was really inspired by Milton Friedman. Uh, Prime Minister Mark Lahr basically took uh, Friedman's book Free to Choose and said, okay, let's do this now. Uh, a place that's booming, has had the fastest growth rates in, in Europe and a government that was, uh, uh, got the support of the voters. Ne she never mentions that. She never mentions other examples of of uh, liberalizing uh, democracies where the government has been supported again and again because of this. Like Australia, like Ireland, like Iceland, she never mentions the fact that the first African country that saw a peaceful transition of power after an election was Mauritius, uh, the African countries that, country that liberalized its market the most. So, and if you look at the broad picture, the quarter of countries that are the most economically free, they, are also, they also have uh, a democratic ranking uh, by the think tank Freedom House that's more democratic than Taiwan, whereas those that are the least economically free, they are less democratic than Nigeria. So the record is clear and it's strong. We see that places where people have freedom to some extent, where there are uh, democracies, more free, uh, more free market reforms take place. Where you have free market reforms, democratic freedoms, personal freedoms keeps, uh, keep growing as well. That's what has really happened around the world. Less shocks, uh, less brutality, less violence in the places that do the things that Naomi Klein hates the most. Liberalize and give people more freedoms.